Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to F Let's Reminisce with Fallout New Vegas, Episode 3. And last time, if I remember correctly, we, we saved Good Springs from the Powder Gangers and their leader, Joe Cobb. And we stole all their clothes. And he looks ridiculous. So, um, yeah. So uh, this episode, I think we're just going to do a little bit of exploring. See what we can't come across. So let's just start with. Uh, let's, just, let's just start by walking. Let's just start by walking. 50 miles per hour does seem a little bit fast for this uh, curry road. I mean, dang. Some guys are going 50 going over this jump. Hmm. A pretty, that, w that would be a pretty terrifying car ride. <laughs> if I do say so myself. So, if I do remember correctly... Oh, hang on a second. Aha! Okay, so I'm, I don't know what that effect is. Uh, maybe it's signifying that I found the Easter egg. But this is the... Uh, this is the Indiana Jones Easter egg. You know, you know the part in the movie where he gets into the fridge and somehow survives a nuclear bomb test? Yeah. This is the fridge. Apparently it blew over here. So that's pretty cool. I I'm going to take your hat, Indy, if you don't mind. What is this? This is the suave gambler hat. Let's see how I look. Yeah, I mean, all I'm lacking is a whip. All right. Uh, I don't know if I want to go down here or not. Let's just keep walking. Let's see what we can't find in the Mojave wasteland. It's pretty empty out here. Oh. Before Venture Deep? Nah. I think I'm good, game. Thanks for the offer, though. Alright, so Gene prims that way, and I guess New Vegas is left. Let's check out whatever this is. Gene skydiving. What have we got in here? There's a bottle cap. There's a key. What is that key to? Ah, the locker. Oh, wow. We just found a stash of good stuff. Dynamite. Cool. And what else? What else is in here? Is this it? Okay. Well, we did get a settler outfit. It does give us agility and endurance. This is better condition, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go with the settler outfit. Oh, jeez. Um, never mind, I'm not gonna go with that. <laughs> yeah, that looks just... That just looks silly. Alright, I, I think that's everything. In the shack. Let's just let's just go this way. Why not? Let's just go this way. What's that over there? I don't know. Looks like we have a powder ganger. Hmm. I'm going to do a test. I'm going to see if he's going to be hostile to us, because when it comes to factions... Uh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Factions. I'm shunned. Does that mean that I'm an enemy, though? An anemone? 
buddy, I, I hate to break it to you, but you can't go in that way. Never gets old when something blows up. You're you're freaking crazy, but I, but thanks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take his armor. Thanks for leaving that there for me. I already got some other armor out of that. Okay, I don't I don't want to kill him. I keep, I keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> I could very, very easily kill you, buddy. Your friend's already dead. I could use Never that shotgun. You did kill an innocent caravan, so, buddy, I think that you're about to get executed. Ooh, it would be really funny if I used dynamite on him. That would be hilarious, actually. I'm going to try that. Hey, uh, do you uh, see this? Do you see this thing I have? It says inert on it, but I don't think that it's actually inert. Here, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try it out. Can you, can you tell me if it is inert? Whoa, you survived! Oh my... Oh my lord. He survived that. I mean, I'm, I'm still gonna blow his head off, but... I gained karma for that. How the heck did he survive that explosion? <laughs> I leveled up from that. That's freaking awesome. That was an awesome freaking kill. Okay, medicine up to 40. Repair up to 20, 20. Sneak, that's good. Survival up to 20. Explosive, that. And let's just do that. That seems good enough. And rapid reload. Okay. Uh, I feel like... My dynamite should have set off his dynamite in his pocket. But that's okay. We got some shotgun rounds. Another shotgun. We can use that shotgun to repair our, our current one we're using. Well, I thought we could. Yeah, here we go. Now we got a pretty good pretty good quality shotgun. Alright, well justice has been served. Let's follow the train tracks. Better follow what the sign says and not pick up any hitchhikers. This must be the uh, caravan Brahmin. Got some food, some scotch, and some junk. Hmm. You know, if the guy didn't want to die, why was he just kind of hanging around his kill? Like, he was he was just basically asking for it. Okay, what is my shotgun? Is it four? No, that's four. These more powder gangers? Ooh, they are. There's more than one of them. There's two. What I want to get is a sniper rifle. Dude, that's a baseball bat. So, um, yeah, I don't have a shotgun bound. I gain karma from doing this. Hey, friends. Never gets old when something blows up. Is that all you say? Oh gosh, this is getting way too heated. You guys need to either die or step away from each other. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna help you out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Well, I thought it never gets old whenever something blows up. And you just saw your friend's head get blown up. Is that not good enough? I'm gonna pull a handgun out. I'm hit. You're hit. He's got some pretty good armor on. But... Did he just heal? What the heck is going on? Okay. Give me a sec. Just, just, let's just, let's just give me a second here. The shotgun's probably my best bet. You didn't even hit me. Yeah, I know you're hit. <laughs> you don't need to keep telling me I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think shotgun... Yeah. Okay. They hate me now, even though... 
there's no way that they would have known that I did this. Hey, they're the bad guys, okay? They're the bad guys, I think. I am gaining karma for doing this, so I assume they are. You guys love your dynamite, don't you? Okay. Alright, well, that was a good start to the episode. <laughs> It's not really the start. We are 10 minutes in already. That's okay. Let's see what we come across next. I want to pick up some side quests, you know? What do we have here? Snuffles. Snuffles, who's your master? They aren't hostile. Sloan. Alright, the town of Sloan. Hello, little snuffles. Woof. Woof. Alright, well I patch up his leg. Cool. Hey, I patch up your pet's leg. Generator still not working. Big surprise. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get a repair of 35 to do anything with that. Hmm. Is there anything interesting in this little town of yours? Let's go to the mining office. Vending machine? The pool table. Hello. Ah, dang. See, I wish that it was like Skyrim, where you can attempt to pick any lock, but it's just harder to do. I am gonna take the your uh, drinks, so I'm getting something out of this. That's apparently forbidden. Let's check out the mess hall. Hello. I hate the song. Let me ask you a question. What's the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? Uh, yeah, that answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you believe some people still eat that stuff? Anyway. I've got this recipe for a death claw omelet that I've been itching to try out. Wow, really? I need a death claw egg. Kind of obvious, I suppose. Oh, where the freaking crap? Why would you ever want to do that? My great aunt Rose ran a bed and breakfast back in California in a town called Modoc. She's the one who created the recipe in the first place. I don't know how she hmm. managed to get a hold of a female deathclaw, but she kept it in a shed. Aunt Rose had a steady supply of eggs for her omelets. She's probably related to Trudy. She did until some stranger came along and killed the deathclaw. Shot it right in the eye. Well, that's actually probably good. <laughs> what, are you, what are you offering in exchange? I don't have much in the way of money, but I'd be willing to share the secret of the recipe. That's, that's literally all. Okay. Okay, well, that's completely not worth it. <laughs> I'd rather just steal your food. Like your beer and your guana and your corn and your barrel cactus fruit. Mm. And your Nuka Cola. And that Nuka Cola. And that Nuka Cola. All right, uh, yeah, I will be back with that death call egg. Sure will. I'm not gonna be back with that death claw egg. I'm not gonna die over a recipe. But it is getting late. So I think I'm going to uh, have a little sleep. 
in the outhouse. I'm just kidding, I'm not going to do that. There's no door in this thing. Talk about freaking no privacy. Alright, let's see if you guys have a bed for me. Awesome. I call top bunk. Oops. I'll sleep for a nice solid 11 hours. I'll be well rested in the morning. <sighs> Leave bright and early. Ugh. You guys went to bed late. <laughs> Okay. Well, that was not Hold up. Oh there boy. Death claws all over the damn place north of here. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. I noticed Snuffles <laughs> leaking, fixed his leg. I didn't realize the problem was that serious. Thank. I gained some fame apparently. Where, where did they come from? They moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. Ah, so that's where they got we it shut from. shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks. But now the death claws have shown up. The NCR is a no-show. And my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. Hmm. It's damn frustrating. Interesting. Okay. See you later. If you insist on going north... I really don't insist on going north. I don't, I don't want to die today. I will take your advice and just go around. Alright. Well, that was not an, not an entirely useless stop. So towards that cross, I wonder. I wonder what that is. I'm a little thirsty. Let's just drink some of that water. How am, I doing? How am I doing now? That's better. Though not completely cured. I think the bottom left is... is my thirst. It keeps saying H2O. Well, I'll try the scotch, I guess. Okay, wow, I drank one time and I'm addicted to it. Okay, I'm addicted to scotch. <laughs> I'd had one drink, dang. Let that be able to listen to you kids. Don't drink and survive, I guess. <laughs> Don't drink and survive. Yangtze Memorial, huh? Hmm. There's some graves over here. Oh jeez, oh jeez, holy crap, what the heck? Hello there, it's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Look who's talking, jeez. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and, ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I can Why? For a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do. And happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. The you what? You didn't show any reaction to it. So, I figured you didn't know what you'd got in your hand. This guy has three watches on. Why do you need three watches? Like, can I ask him that instead? There's an old wasteland legend that says is somewhere it? out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are Ugh. the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. I remember picking that up. 
So you, what kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. I hope it's not water. That would Maybe suck. Something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. Where can I find more? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now. But somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus eats, hoping someone will finally collect enough cap. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. Who's Festus? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus. And he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war. Standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. Hmm. Well, that'll make him pretty damn old. But I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him. And they weren't the lying type either. Okay. Bored. Can you want to buy it? Nah, I gave it up years ago. So, Too what dangerous. do you want? And even if I did still collect them. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named... So Tony what Max. was the point? He's killed several people for their stars already. Okay, well, thanks for the information, but it's weird that you followed me just to tell me this stuff. I need a shovel. Dang. What's that? I'm not complaining. Sweet. Okay. Well, that works. On we go. All right, death claws are ahead. I'm too curious. I gotta figure out what this is. What is this? Abandoned shack, huh? Maybe there is some ammo. Oh. Got first aid box. Right away. Stem pack. Take both those. Machete. Excellent. Steady. I don't know what that is. There's a bed in here. Oh. <sighs> Excuse me. It doesn't look there's, like there's much else. Aha, there is ammo, never mind. Sweet, it's stealth boy. That would be useful. Probably for selling, honestly. No death claws yet. Just some rad scorpions that I can take care of. Oh dang, this is my shotgun. I didn't mean I, I didn't really mean to have a shotgun out. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Okay. This is this is this is bad. I'm just gonna take a nice little walk. Let's run away just a little bit. Ouch! Holy freaking crap. Don't get any closer, I'll kill you. Alright, you ask for it. That big one did some serious freaking damage to me. Target his head, come on. There we go. Goodbye. Uh, I just saw a robot coming at me. I hope, really hope that he's friendly. Okay, so I have a crippled limb. I'll take a stem pack. I'm gonna favorite this to something like five. Who are you? Oh, he's 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 gonna help me out. Hey, is that that is Victor? You need to be careful. It's dangerous out here. Heck, I can smell trouble a mile away. Oh, thanks, Victor. <laughs> I like you, friend. Have I mentioned that? I saved your life, so I kind of feel responsible for you is all. Okay. Well, happy trails. I don't know. I don't want to be mean to the poor old robot. See you later, Victor. 
take a stim pack. Is that a uh, good spring? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, I guess I will just go over there, back there, back where we started, and take the road out. Eventually get to New Vegas. I feel like, I feel like we can find some action over there. Yeah, let's just go this way. Yeah, apparently I am. That, that's just dumb. <laughs> oh wait, actually while I'm here I should probably get my uh, limb healed up. Uh, take that, freaking bottles. Take that, tumbleweed. Take that cart. It stops out. Never mind. <sighs> is this the doc's house? Yeah, okay, cool it is. Hey doc, I need some more help. What the crap was that? Are you doing a little jig? How are you holding up? <laughs> don't. Right, Fifty caps isn't bad. Wait. Oh, where are you going? Hey. Oh. Okay. Never mind. How are you holding up? I'm addicted. Sure. Suit yourself. Sure. Cure me. 50 more caps to cure an addiction. Wow. Sure. That's easy. Okay, I'm going to pick up a stim pack. And a couple doctor's bags for the road in case they do, you know, take some crippling again. But I think that that's going to wrap it up. Never mind. Hang on a sec. All right. I think that is going to wrap it up for this episode. We ended right where we started, back in good old Good Springs. So, yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it and you stuck around at the end, go ahead and give it a like. And, well, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.